I guess I'd like to start off by giving you all the finger. <laughs> because I know that I can give the finger to anyone and uh, not have to worry about the consequences. And you may be thinking that's because I am a badass Texan. We're not wrong about that, right? <laughs> but it's also because I know that I can get the power back to the finger. <laughs> So here's the deal. Apple has, in my opinion, the best security features out there, uh, one of the main fingerprint ID, which I love. Um, but I started to realize that there were security threats that they can actually use the fingerprint ID against you. And that terrified me, knowing that the very thing that could protect me or should protect me could hurt me. So in Virginia, Last year, we discovered that your passcode on your phone is uh, protected by the Fifth Amendment, but your fingerprint is not. And not that I'm advocating going out and breaking the law, but if you were uh, searched without cause and you had fingerprints uh, enabled on your phone, you would be forced to remove yourself. Now, how about the kids who like to go through their parents' phones. You know, the kids, they're very smart, and they know it just takes the fingerprint on the phone, and then you're asleep, how are you gonna know about it? Or it could be the kid that their parents are going through your phone. Now, I'm sure a few of you have dealt with this in one way or another, whether it's a jealous spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, you know, talking to, you're asleep, it's that easy. Many of you have friends, maybe enemies, that like to steal your phone and, I don't know, send out a Facebook status that's pretty embarrassing or a text to a girl that you like. Um, and this one doesn't necessarily have to do with being open ID, but it's the good old can I borrow your phone. Someone uses your phone, now they all of a sudden have access to all of your apps, including your mail, your messages, your photos, if you get a picture. So it's that easy until now. A new way to feel safe with your phone. Locked. This is a tweak that has two major functions. It's got sleep mode and guest mode. Now you might be thinking it's really easy. I just will turn my passcode lock off or I will uh, turn my phone off and it will force it into a passcode lock. I'm sorry, turn my fingerprint ID off. Um, but I say, why sacrifice your security? Why not just enhance it? So, features. You have sleep mode, which is what forces your phone into a passcode lock when it's enabled and locked. Then you can also lock the control center when the lock screen is on or off, as well as specific parts of the control center so you can um, make sure that people can't get, they can't turn on or off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, all the things that are there. Um, you can also configure it to disable your notifications on and off the lock screen. Um, and then there are two ways to enable sleep mode. We have a manual mode that is used with activator uh, by Brian Metrich, and all you have to do is you just set a trigger. <laughs> yeah. And uh, fingerprint is disabled. Then there's also a schedule feature, so you can you can put a timer in. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna go to bed at nine. You want to wake up at five. You can schedule it to be uh, enabled during that period of time. And then so now you can sleep well, knowing that your information is protected. One touch and the next feature is um, guest mode. So this mode, um, this is activated, uh, again, using an activation trigger, but this is while the phone is unlocked. <laughs> and what it does is it, dis it disables specific apps that the user, user configures. So um, you can go to a list of whatever you have in there. Um, if you want your photos or your, your mail or whatever completely disabled, you can disable that and then leave other ones open or just only allow the person to be able to use the phone. So that way, if you're giving your uh, phone to someone who wants to borrow it, they can't get to anything 
Um, oh, also, um, Siri can't open the apps, and also the task manager, if they go into that and it's already in there, um, they can't. They can't. So, I'm going to show you a little video of what it looks like. Oh, and thanks, Ryan, because you created this too. The recorder thing. <laughs> so this is guest mode. You can disable every single one of those if that's what you want to do. You can also disable things on the control center, same as sleep mode. Block will be available to you today. today. 